Hello there. Hi. My name is Jeff Haygood, and this is my third blog entry on Tim and Ed. I know it's been a while since I've done an update. I know it's August and I'm wearing a beanie. It's actually a Ninja Turtles beanie, but who cares? I'm actually animating now. Like, I'm finally animating. This is my seventh month uh, since I started conceptualizing the characters and the story for Tim and Ed. You know, it's weird. I'm actually editing this video while I'm shooting it. A video inception. So I'm going to start out by showing how I prepared myself for animation. How I prepared the characters for um, animation. Because uh, I don't believe I ever actually showed that in my last video. So um, right here, uh, what I do is each part of the body is... Uh, totally different segment uh, there's several layers for each part of the body the face itself is the part of the body that has the most um, so I make outlines and then I color in each different layer and make them into different segments and I make sure that they fit correctly uh, so this is the outcome right here uh, it's just a crash course uh, so here what I'm doing uh, and I'm setting up the character um, I have brought in all of the Photoshop layers. I have each layer numbered. That way they actually import in there correctly. I don't know if it's because of my settings in After Effects or because of, uh, I don't know. But when I bring in all the layers, um, it alphabetizes them. Uh, so it throws them out of whack. So what I have to do is I have to put a number in front of each character and then put the name of the layer. So like, instead of having the upper arm last because it's a U, I can put the actual number it is and it's gonna happen on top and everything is gonna be in a correct format. Uh, so I'm giving this information for anybody that's ever been interested in doing animation in After Effects. So basically what I do is I put all the pieces together, I import it, and then I set anchor points where the joints would be. So there would be an anchor point where the elbow is, anchor point where the knee is, where the shoulder is, where the head meets the neck, all of that. Uh, even anchor points on the eyebrows and things like that. And so what I do, if you're familiar with After Effects, After Effects, I set keyframes. So for those who don't know, basically what a keyframe is, is in that specific frame, I'm setting what that layer is gonna do. So I'll set one keyframe here, and then set another keyframe. And one keyframe, his arm may be down. The next keyframe, his arm is up. And so what it does, uh, through the magic of After Effects, is <clears throat> when all of that is put together, those two keyframes, it smooths out the movement. And so it gathers information, and it basically designates the movement from one keyframe to another. It thinks for itself what that movement would be. That way I'm not myself animating each frame by frame by frame by frame. I can set keyframes six frames apart. And what that would do, the further away I make the keyframes, the slower the movement is. So if I wanted to be quick movement, I'll put the keyframes closer together. If I wanted to be slow motion, I'll put them further apart. Um, so right now, I want it to be kind of normal movement. And what I've noticed when I've been animating is that the way I'm animating now, the characters are actually moving more than normal cartoon characters would, or at least more than what I've observed. I've been watching a lot of cartoons lately, and the main things that move on characters is their faces, not their bodies, depending on what they're doing. But I won't mind animation to be a little bit unique. So there's going to be a lot of movement. Characters aren't going to be very still unless it's purposely creepy. Creek. I forgot to mention, I have more people on the project now. I believe last time I had only confirmed the people that are doing the music production, which was Brent Wood and Marcus Meyer. Brent Wood has actually made the intro music for me already. And Marcus Meyer, he is in the process of helping me make the score, well, making the scores for Tim and Ed as I'm formulating each scene. And I have Linia Munch, I hope, I pronounced your name right. 
Um, she is the background artist, because I believe I said last time that I was looking for a background artist so that I don't have to do it myself. So right now I'm actually working on the first three minutes of Tim and Ed. Testing, testing. Yeah, it's both of them. That fucking mic's badass, dude. Like, for real. All right. Enchantment set the witch dog free. And so, it waits in the basement, waiting. We can go now. Okay. You know what, I'm not feeling it. Last name ever, first name greatest. I wonder if Drake's hand actually wraps. Me, me, me. Yo, Tim and Ed, what are y'all doing next to that old house? Stay tuned. Um, I hope everyone likes Tim and Ed and the witch dog. Um, I think it's gonna be great. Thank you for tuning in. Are you ready? Prepare to turn on your lights. Coming soon to a screen near you. Tim and Ned.